up? Back with another episode of the Major Music Lounge Podcast. It's your host, D-Dot, and today we're actually going to talk to an artist by the name of Twano with the hits. He's out of Baltimore. I actually met Twano through D-Skills of DVR Records, so shout out to D-Skills. We're going to get into Twano's latest project, Charm City Magic. I got a chance to listen to some of the tracks off of the album, as well as I got a chance to check out his YouTube channel and some of the music videos and more. So looking forward to getting to the conversation with Twano. If this is your first time checking out the Major Music Lounge podcast, this is a platform I created for music creators. So whether you're a music producer, and when it comes to producers, I like to talk to producers that are maybe music production app developers, sound designers. Let's say you come out with your own sound packs. What if you're also a content creator? I definitely want to hear your story here on a Major Music Lounge podcast. As well as artists. If you're an artist, kind of like Twano with the hits, and you want to come on to talk about a recent release or maybe even an upcoming release i definitely would like to have you on the podcast as well also one thing i left out is uh creators that have music placements whether you have placements in a film or television space or maybe even like video games i would also like to hear your story here on the podcast and you can find me on instagram at d dot underscore major music same thing on tiktok and if you also use threads i'm on there too and you could also find me on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, at D.MME. And if you are listening to this episode, go ahead, screenshot it, and tag us on Instagram. I'm going to put our information on as the show goes on, where you can find uh, Twano at and more. So let's go ahead and get into the interview. I'd like to welcome everybody to another edition of the Major Music Lounge podcast. Joined by Twano with the hits. What's good, my brother? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good, man. Shit. Just hanging in there, you feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I wanted to say, you know, first and foremost, I got a chance to check out uh, some of your music. And, you know, we'll get into that. But I really respect the grind, man. You've been putting in some work and, you know, great content that you've been making. Thank you. I, I guess that like, I've been doing this for a while, for real. But we gonna get into that for real. Yeah, yeah, we could actually kind of start there. Um, so you know, tell our audience how long have you been creating music, and uh, you know, I guess it's a two part question. With that, who were some of your influences? You know, that that made you want to pick up a mic, that made you want to start writing. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer the second question first. Um, like when I was growing up, my influences was like Kanye, Lil Wayne, Fab, Jada, X, L, Eminem, basic yeah, like just like lyricists for real. People who was actually like putting pen to pad for real. Yeah, like I hear a lot of that in your music a lot of versatility and uh you know kind of like one of the things that i i think you're a real good storyteller i feel like in your music um i found that in you know listening to that charm city magic i hear a little bit of like trap i hear a little bit of east coast um i think you know you, you it, it's very versatile and you don't find too many artists like that but how long have you been creating music so I'm coming up on my tenth year of well, yeah, my tenth year of making music for real. So yeah, decade. Like um I just turned twenty three for real. So like yeah, I've been like writing music since I was like thirteen, twelve for real. Like but I remember like when I started, it was more so like I was writing poems. Like I was like I wasn't like putting it to a beat yet. I was just like pinning poems and stuff like that, like reading from poets like Langston Hughes and stuff like that growing up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's I could also kind of like see it in the catalog because the catalog very deep and, uh, you know, like even with the Charm City Magic, that's a 29 track album. 
you know, by like, I guess, traditional hip hop standards, that would almost be like a double CD, you know, co compared to now with the digital downloads, but 29 tracks. Um, tell us a little bit about what went behind creating that album, Charm City Magic. So what, like when I make an album, I like to like some, like I like to submerge myself into like the feeling and the aura around it for real. When I was doing like, when I thought of myself, I was like, I can't do a, a conventional album where people won't just come and they get like 13, 16 songs. Like that's, that's, that's normal for real. I was like, people with attention stands are starting to get lower and lower. And it's what the industry is feeding us for real. So I just took it upon myself, like 29 songs. Let's troll, let me troll the industry for real. I'm going to do a 29 song album, but the album isn't going to extend an hour and 20 minutes. My album, the 29 song album, it, it's only an hour and 11 minutes. So it's like, that's the same as like a uh, regular 16 if people are doing three minute beats. Me, I was switching it up throughout the album, just thinking about it like, oh, I can do this amount of time on this song, switch the beat up, keep it as three separate songs or one song and it doesn't exceed four minutes. Like, type stuff like that. Yeah, I think I've seen a video. Um, it was with you and you had a, a chick in the video too. Uh, I can't think of the name, but I, I was watching it earlier, but it... uh. Or it might have been, yeah, started from, they had two parts to that video. And uh, I noticed, though, how it was probably, what, maybe a little over three minutes, but you had kind of like two beats within that within that video. It's almost like it was two songs. So I could kind of see, you know, how you related, how you related to what you just said as far as uh, being able to, put a lot of, of or putting multiple songs within a certain two or three minute track. So um, speak about your videos, for example. Now, I got a chance to again watch Started From and then Trampoline. Um, and then uh, I noticed you had a clip for another joint, All Bad. That's, that's fire, by the way. Uh, but, you know, how important do you think it is for independent artists to have a visual to represent their songs? I feel as though it's important. But we're in a time where people aren't really gravitated towards music videos. Yeah, a music video can propel a song, but now it's like you'll have artists dropping music videos that should be getting millions of views, but it just people don't really gravitate towards it because people attention it's like the attention span has gotten so low to the point where people don't have the time to just sit through and watch somebody sing a song or a video. I'm trying to change that, like, starting off with All Bad. Like, I, I haven't dropped that yet. It's coming soon, though. I should drop it soon. It's just put, I'll just be putting things together. But even with All, all Bad, I, want, I wanted it to be, like, a movie type thing. Like, people were, like, when they look at it, they see, like, a feeling. They get a feeling from it. They don't just see some see somebody just rapping a song for real. So like telling a story with it, um, that's what I'm gonna be moving forward with when it comes to more visual stories. Let's let's get people watching. Yeah, I think you're right on that in terms of like people's attention spans are are shorter. You kind of even said that in the even the last segment about your the Charm City album, and um, I think a lot of the music videos now also has to do with you know, where or how it's presented to the audience from a standpoint of like, I've kind of noticed like on YouTube, sometimes a video might take off and I don't know, I get a couple of hundred to a thousand views on that particular video. And I may post another one and not get as many, but then I post the same video to Instagram and everybody's, you know, engaging with it, you know, one way or another. So I think okay. a lot of the times it's uh not only where it's presented at, cause I think I think a lot of at least my uh 
people that follow what I do, a good portion of them are going to be between Instagram and and YouTube. But like, I seem like I get more engagement on Instagram when I post videos. So I think a lot of it has to, again, do with where it's presented and how it's presented as well. And you definitely don't want to just put out just visuals to go with a song without, you know, kind of like you said as well, telling a story within the fit within the video to keep the audience engaged. Uh, do you have, well, you kind of answered that, but like, um, you know, any other plans for some videos this year with the uh, charm city magic? We got, we got like four, four more, four videos coming. After all bad drop, they got four videos coming, but they're going to be coming out and like, just know it's leading to something like the visuals is going to lead to something. It's not just going to be me dropping the visuals. There's no December in December. We got, we, we got, we got something else coming. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, and you doing some work with, uh, like, uh, D skills and DBL records. Yeah. The guys ran down by law. Down by law. Shout out to we D Skills. Team, man. We a super team. Everybody on DBL is straight spinning MCs. Like when we get in the studio, we laugh and joke around, but when we in that booth, our plan is out the window. We all here to spit, you feel me? Pause no diddy. Uh but shit. Oh damn, I'm ready to cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't cancel me like oh, Paul Hanger, fuck that. But yeah, um, uh, like DBO is like you have a master class of lyricists in one group coming from Baltimore, where people sleep on that style for real. But you, ha we are talented, super talented, and these skills putting it all together, visionary for real. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to these skills. Been on the show uh, quite a few times and. Uh, shot a couple of people my way and what i like about you know dbl records is everybody kind of got their own vibe in terms of artists and creativity but like y'all still come together to do music at the end of the day i see everybody on everybody else's project i see everybody at the shows represent and i really like what y'all got going down there in baltimore man they say hey we got a lot of things coming though dbl shit torn with the hits a lot of things is coming in the store for 2024. How long have you been working with uh, DBL and D-Skills? Uh, it's been, uh, like, close to a year. Okay. Yeah, man. And, you know, as far as, like, your production, uh, music producer, beat selection process, like, do you work with an in-house producer or, you know, do you just... Uh, kind of network with different producers to come together to create your album? Like, how do you go through that creative process to choose your instrumentals? So, I I have an in-house producer and he sends me beats for real. Um, Astro, the name Astro, and he said, he sends some pretty good beats, you know, the beat, but the beat selection can range for real. I might get from Different people. I might buy a couple beats off of beat stars and stuff like that. But I want my uh I just want the production to be different. Like I don't want it to be, oh, this is how he's gonna rap when he's on a song. I want it to be every time somebody presses a song, they don't know what they're getting. They don't know what they're expecting. I might be singing, I might be just giving you straight bars. I just want people to know like Baltimore is versatile and that's the magic in it all. Like like living in Baltimore and coming up in, in an environment where they don't want you to win, where so many people would rather see you lose rather than pick you up. I just feel as though it means a lot to be different. Falling into the norm and the status quo that everybody else wants you to be in just isn't going to get you the way you need to go. So I feel as though being different is the way to stand out. Yeah, and people can really, you know, they can smell the bullshit if you're faking it, you know, if you're not yourself. 
and it's going to show in the music, it's going to show, you know, in every other aspect of, you know, I always see, like, guys on, on the internet uh, posting pictures from the studio, but we never hear no tracks, we never see them do any shows, things like that. You know, they might post themselves spending a lot of money, but they ain't really making no music. And, you know, people take note of everything that you do. If you say you're an artist, step it up, you know. So big ups to you on that. Um, what would you like our audience to know, you know, about Twano with the hits? Like, um, you know, any type of message you got as far as, you know, just you as an artist, creator what you stand for i'm not even see i know i know like it's my interview but i don't even want to talk about me i would just give i would just give like my advice to the people that's listening like if you're making music it don't matter what you're doing it doesn't matter how you want to make it in life if you feel like that's the way do it and put your all in it. There's no half stepping. Put your all in it. Right? Saying if they don't fuck with you, so what? As long as you fuck with it, that's all that matters. Because you got potential. That's all that's all that's all I gotta say for real. Like I don't I feel as though people should show more love. Well, I feel as though not like just Supporting people, music and stuff like that. I'm just talking about period. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fair. I'm... Have a good like bring bring a change in the community. I feel as though that's what is needed. The music is cool and all, but I I don't I generally don't even do this for the money or the streams, bro. Like I could go broke tomorrow and I'll be happy if I know that I'm making a difference in the community. That's all that really matters for real. We on this world for like what, a hundred years? Shit, more if you're blessed you see more. But like I feel as though everybody has a purpose. And I just feel like my purpose is helping people and doing better by the community. And I'm not no I'm not no politician or none of that for real. Like no. I just believe people deserve a better life. Yeah, I mean, you know, not to get into that, but I, I actually saw you post it, like, something about doing a lot in your community, and I think that is very important, you know, especially, like, a lot of people just showing love, no matter if it's if it's just music, you know, somebody, you know, uh, started their own business, you know, no matter what type of business it is, you know, help out your community if uh not maybe not even just that people graduated, things like that, but uh helping somebody in need and I think it's something that's missing. A lot of people have tunnel vision and they don't really, you know, take the time to do things in their own communities. And you know, I remember like even a couple of years ago when you had a lot of things going on across America, at that time a lot of people I thought did things um, in their communities, and you know, there's no right or wrong time, but I, I thought that a lot of people did did some things around those times for the visual, and you don't see as many people currently, you know, still with that same type of energy. So, you know, I definitely think that us as a whole need to show more love as a people. So, I agree with you on that, man. Um, you know what what kind of shout outs do you have? You know, for friends, for family. You know, people that you do music with. Uh, shout out BBL, of course. Shout out the guys. Uh, shout out my man's NVR Dev. Shout out my man's Kang Irv. And these are all artists from the city that's really putting in work. Uh, shout out John Tyler. Um, like I say, he's helped me. He's helped. Like, he's been like a mentor to me. For real. He's not even that much older than me, for real. But it's like, he has so much musical wisdom and even life wisdom for real like that really has helped me for real so yeah, shout out to john tyler um and shout out to all the artists that helped me get to this point and all the people and supporters that helped me get to this point where i'm able to consistently put out bodies of work and 
not feel like it's going on deaf ears. <laughs> but yeah, um, twenty twenty four, a lot of things may go up. Like I'm excited. Yeah, are you mainly gonna continue pushing Charm City Magic, or you know, you have some other music that you've been working on too with that. Like you said, uh, Charm City Magic. I'm a, I'm gonna continue uh pushing Charm City Magic because I feel like that's one of the ones for the city. Like that's one of the ones for the city. Yeah, yeah. Check out Charm City Magic on all streaming platforms. Uh, you won't be disappointed. I got a chance to listen to it earlier. Got a chance to check out some videos and more. Um, and then where can our listeners follow you? Our, as well as our viewers. Um, y'all can follow me on IG at Twano Music. Um, I don't have a TikTok. That's why. That's why go away though, right? Yeah, the that's government might man. ban that, man. Oh, so yeah, so no even point even talk about that. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twano with the hits, pop straight straight up. Um, yeah, all platforms. Apple Music, Spotify, um, Deezer, um, iHeartRadio, Pandora, YouTube Music. Yep. Anything you can think of, you can find me on. Yeah, go ahead. Hit my man Twano with the hits, with the follow. Subscribe to his channel. Check out some of his music as well. And uh, definitely want to appreciate, or definitely want to thank you. I appreciate you coming on the Major Music Lounge podcast. And, uh, you know, anytime you got something, man, feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. No problem at all. You can follow me on Instagram at D dot underscore Major Music. Uh, same thing on uh, if you use threads. I'm also on uh, Twitter at D dot MME or X, whatever you want to call it. And if you like this interview, uh, go ahead and hit the like button, screenshot it, and actually tag me and Twano with the hits on social media. Uh, follow the Major Music Lounge page as well at Major Music Lounge Pod. And uh, until next time, it's been another episode of the Major Music Lounge, and we're out. Major Music. <laughs>